Kira and welcome to grilled number two. Oh, his name is Sean, also known as SJD. My name is Inda. Grilled is where musicians fire first. Therefore, Sean, please fire first. Uh, I've got to ask myself a question, do I? Well, not really. You have to ask myself. When you have to ask me a question about your music, or you have to ask yourself a question that I can answer. <coughs> Oh, I have, oh, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> oh, I thought I was asking me a question. You can ask yourself a question. Yeah. You know, it's... No, it's no, I'll ask you no, a question. No, 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 <laughs> no. How, how good, how, here's my question. How, how are you going, Inda? You having a nice day? I'm very well, thank you. Cool. It's a bit rainy outside. It's a bit rainy. It's a bit miserable. It's a bit rubbish. Yeah, it's a bit rubbish. It's not a many bit parks, silly. Not many parks around here. No. And it's a bit annoying. Going back to the music. Um, the thing I want to ask you first, or maybe make a remark about, is how um, your albums, because you know how sometimes you listen to people's music, it's more songs which pop out. Sure. But in your case, um, your albums are very much like blocks, just like houses in a way, with different rooms. And the songs are quite intertwined. Um, and they're not concept albums, obviously, because they're not. But they're not collections of songs either. They're not series of songs, you know. It's, it's not, oh, okay, oh, okay, uh, one song here, another song there, blah, blah, blah. It's, there's a very strong thread. Okay, usually. nice. Yeah, that's good. What do you reckon? Oh, is that what, is the question is what do I reckon? Yeah, I think that's probably um, pretty normal. I think about a bunch, you know, I think about songs all together when I'm making an album. And I try to think about how they would go together and how they'd fit. And um, sometimes I'll leave songs off because they don't seem to me to fit. Even though musically, stylistically, they can be quite disparate. Yeah, and, and it's an interesting thing you said about concept albums because I quite like the idea of concept albums. I think there is always some sort of concept there, um, but whether I could actually articulate it or not at the time is another thing. Yeah, on Lost Soul Music, um, the album Lost Soul Music, for instance, speaking of this whole concept thing, um, there's, to me, a clear reference to um, Melody Nelson on the Low Down part. Sure. Melody Nelson by Serge Gainsbourg. And, um, and on Guiding Light, there is, well, to me, a reference to, I, mean, I was going to say Bert Baccarat, but actually I think it's more John Barry. Yeah, in a way. I would say that that's probably not so much a reference as just sort of a rip off. Probably, I'm just ripping them off. I haven't said I'm that. Thinking, no, I'm saying that. I'm saying <laughs> I like that music. Well, gosh, I'd like to do that kind of music, and I try and do it, and um, it kind of works because I sort of fail to do that in an interesting way. That's generally my um, that's my whole shtick. It's just trying to rip things off that I like, and then sort of failing in an interesting way. Yeah. Except um, it's not a direct ripoff. There's there's still some AJD because no, no because really last song music there's the what well, feels like the making of SJD as a songwriter, you know, as as yeah. departing from the electronica, which which is quite lyrical anyhow. But I mean, there's something about being a songwriter on lost soul music. Well, I had always, um, I'd always written songs. Yeah. So that was just me trying to incorporate them into whatever else I was doing. So I mean, that, that's an interesting album because um, the, well, I mean, that's debatable, I guess. But um, <laughs> but that's interesting to me because the, a lot of the songs really stretch out. There's a little bit of song and there's a, a whole lot of instrumental. Mm -hmm. I still think of them as songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And, um, and then there's this sort of move forward. I mean, um, again, with each album, there's something you expand on or you just take to another level or, or further. And there's some sort of resolution, in a way, uh, reconciliation, I think, on day glow spectres. Right. Um, again, the, the songwriting. And the, you know the half electronic SJD and the half songwriting mm. SJD uh, coming together. Um, I think 
Right. On 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 we come. That's quite. That's quite. Well, that's just a purely an instrumental. That yes, track. but it's still it's still it's it's still a song. You got a songness about it. Yeah. No. True. True. Well, that was. I mean, that album was a more than anything was a collaboration with James Duncan. So that had a lot of impact on how that album sounded and the kind of music that I was making, really. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, baby, you're so... You're yeah, yeah, he, that, a, a, lot of, a lot of that um, album w w was sort of... He would, he'd jump on the drums um, or he'd jump on the bass. So the rhythm sections have got a lot of jams in them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And um, a lot of it, they were, jam they were sort of jams and then he went off to Berlin and I turned them into songs a little bit, yeah. Lucky for some. Yeah, exactly. Who for, I wonder? <laughs> lucky for James going off to Berlin or lucky for him that I... Double lucky for James, lucky that I did all the work. <laughs> no, but you know, the, yeah, this, again, this, this, the, the two halves coming together on the globe. Right. Which is mm. the thing. <clears throat> yep. Um, yep. I, I mean, to me, there was a bit of that, um, yeah. I guess so. Um, I'm trying to think the album before that was Dictaphone. Dictaphone, so from a Dictaphone. Yeah, I mean, that's got lots of song songs on it, but I guess you're saying the bits where, where they actually collide a little bit more mm. in terms of the songwriting. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, and then, yep. Yeah. Evening Out, the, the actual, you know, the, the, the whole thing. Mm. The electronica and the songwriting, mm. I think. Interesting. But, um, yeah. And, and then, because it's really, it's really that, it's, it's just that they are like lovely blocks, you know, with different components. Mm. And, and then just going to that sort of reaching that harmony, I mean, it's a big word, but I mean, you know, this shaky, maybe harmony, but on elastic wasteland, uh, or on St. John Divine, St. John Divine, I always want to say St. Saint, Saint John the Divine because of the church. Sure, yeah, well that's but pretty much what it is, yeah. It's St. John <coughs> Divine. Um, and this this harmony and... Um, I don't know if... Is JD the singer-songwriter has taken over? Or... Because they're kind of on, on Elastic Wasteland, not really, because there's a bit that's very autobahn. Yeah. They have work yeah. and I'm jumping over fences. Yeah. Hypno hypno hypnotized by Rose. It's quite, it's really um, electronic. Yeah, they're definitely trying to do a synth pop album. That's how it turned out, kind of miserable, but it's true, no <laughs> ball. That's honestly, I wanted to make a synth pop album, that was my synth pop album. Yeah. And then uh, St. John Divine was, ah, I made a synth pop album, I'll, now I'm going to make an album with no synthesizers on it. <laughs> that's totally what it is. That's the, that's the most important things about those albums, mm. briefly stated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's quite a lot. Are you, are you, do you, I mean, are you happy with that transition of that yeah, um, bridge, the that idea, gap? The idea was, um, was that then I would do two more albums after St. John Divine that were of a more singer songwriter -y kind of style, mm. more conventional songs, just so I could you know, bump up the old back catalogue a little bit, mm. you know, get a few more licences. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, you've got to, it's good, it's good to, if you're a songwriter to have a bunch of things in your back catalogue because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I have to tour the world with all your music and people will just be screaming for, you know, yeah. sideways too or... Yeah, that might, yes. that, that might, that might happen. <laughs> and on the cover, that's, that's Ron Michneda and Michel Piccoli on the cover, just, you know. Michel Piccoli. Is it, is it Les Choses de la Vie? Is that the French film by Claude Sauter? The, 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 the cover of Sideways 2. Well, I didn't do, I didn't do it. There was a guy called Howard Mathiel, who's also got a bit of a French thing here. Yeah. Okay, um, well, it, it really yeah. looks like, yeah. it really looks like Les Choses de la Vie. Um, okay, film maybe I'd say, it. It. I'm say, I'd say that you're probably right. I wouldn't have a clue, but... Mm. Okay, well I thought you had spent hours and hours and hours trying to... Well that's just a compilation, that. that's a compilation. Oh. Sideways 2, that's a compilation yes. by some, that one of my tracks is on. Yeah, no. And I didn't, you know... But I mean I thought you had taken over the, the whole um, 
design because you love your French films. Yeah, no, I don't design other people's album covers, generally speaking. I mean, there's, there's always a chance that it will. Always a chance that might happen, but I think it's fairly unlikely. All right. All right. Um, please take me through um, these other names, which is on Elastic Wasteland on the album. Elastic Wasteland. Yes. And it's. I um, like how you say that correctly. That's awesome. Teenage and it's teenage wrath. You know, it's teenage angst. Yeah. It's 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 just. Bam 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 yeah. bam. Well, yeah. We like bam 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 bam. I'm glad you do. <laughs> um, uh, to, we'll take you through it. I, I guess it was just um, because um, that was my synth pop album, and I was trying to get in that um, teenage headspace. Then, it, then, I, then it was inevitable that a little teenage song would pop out there. Um, yeah. Oh, well, they played it on the B. Played it on BFM. That was good. Um, my record company didn't like that song at all. In fact, a few people didn't like that song. I don't know why. I think I'm, I, I think they thought it was um, 80s in a bad way. No. No, no it's I'm not. Sure. No, I'm not saying it is. No, no, I'm no, saying no. That's no, no I'm, just, I'm just saying no to all those people no, who no, no. don't like it. Yeah. And I, I'm just saying I no. No, I can't like it. I, I was quite pleased with that one. Yeah, because apart from the bang, 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 mm. there's um, the vocals are quite haunting. Sure. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought that about that. I thought it sounded a little bit like Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne, the vocal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I love it actually. Mm. Completely. <laughs> they yeah, no haunting vocals and and um, you know not not cautious. If it, if you no, know, no, it's I, no. It's boring being cautious. Stuff. It's boring being cautious all the time. Sometimes you've got to take risks, even though people aren't going to like it. It just keeps it interesting for you. I mean, you know, chances are there's people that don't like it, you know, they might be wrong, they don't know, you know. They don't know any better than you do, so, yeah, me, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, anything else? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. No? You're driving this, you know? I'm, I'm driving it. I don't think I'm driving it. I think I was told I was going to ask a question of myself. And it turns out I could have asked it of anybody, so I asked it of you. And then uh, you asked the rest of the questions, unless I missed the memo. <laughs> there is no memo. I mean, there is one, but you, you haven't seen it. Okay, sure. On that note, <laughs> kakite everybody. Adios. Salut. Au revoir. À bientôt. NewZealandMusician.co.nz